Hello everyone. In this video, we will be graphing quadratic inequalities in two variables. As you can see on the example here, we have both x and y. So that's why we have two variables involved in this quadratic inequality. Before we jump into this example right here, let's have a review in graphing inequalities in two variables. We remember that if we have a greater than or equal to or less than or equal to, we are going to use a solid graph. On the other hand, if we have a greater than or less than, we use the broken graph. So as you can see here, if there's no bar underneath, we're going to use a broken graph. And if we have a bar underneath, we're going to use a solid graph. Now let's go back to the example. Okay, so the first step that we're going to do in order that we can graph this is to determine the vertex. So looking at this problem right here, our vertex HK, so it's these two numbers that we have here. So I can go ahead and label the vertex here. So that is, we remember in determining the vertex, we're supposed to switch and keep. So that would be a negative 3 and a positive 5. So our vertex would sit... So negative 3 and positive 5. So this is the vertex right here. Now the next step is to write the equation to be able to sketch the graph. So we need to determine where do the other points would go. Now I'll give you a trick on how to write the equation and to complete the table so that we can go ahead and um, graph the um, graph the, uh, inequality right here. So the first step that we're going to do is to cover the H and the K. After that, we are going to change the inequality to equal sign. So then we are left with an equation of y is equal to negative x squared. So this is the leftover equation after we cover the h and the k and we change the inequality to equal sign. So this is the equation that we are going to use. So what are we going to do now is we create a table. So from the vertex, we are going to create a table. So that would be a three um, row table. And then we're going to have two column table. Okay, so what are the ones that we write on this table? So from the vertex, we are going to write here one right, two right, and three right. Okay, now how do we determine? Um, that means what, what, are, what, what are these ones here? So it means that we go to the right. Now where do we go after we move one space to the right? Do we go up or do we go down to, down to get to the next dot? So that's what we're going to figure out in this column right here. Now what are we going to do is we plug in this value into the x. So we have 1 squared is 1 and there's a negative next to it. So that means it's a negative 1. So this means that we are supposed to go down. Okay, next we have 2 here. So what I'm going to do is to plug in this 2 to the x. So 2 squared is 4. There's a negative in front. So I go ahead and write negative 4. So that means we are going down. The th uh, 3 to the right means we plug in the 3 here. So 3 squared is 9 and there's a negative in front so that would be a negative 9 which means that we are going down so how do we sketch the graph now so first we go one to the right so i go one to the right then i go down one because that's a negative so this is the second dot now the next dot would be i go to right from the vertex so that's what it says here, from the vertex. So I go to right. So this was the vertex. I go to right, one, two, and then I go four down, one, two, three, four. So this is the next dot. Now the other dot here, we have three right from the vertex. We go three right, one, two, three. Then we go nine down, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So this is the next dot. Now, in order that we can draw the other dot across, since this is a parabola, we are going to mirror it across. So this is the other dot. So it's exactly the same distance from the axis of symmetry. So this one right here would be on the other side across. And this one would be on the other side across here. 
So I have uh, graphed already the dots. Now we are going to take this off of the uh, graph. So we say that it is uh, greater than. So there's no bar underneath. That means we are going to use a broken line. So it's gonna be a broken graph. So I will create a broken uh, line or uh, a curve here that connects these dots together. So it's gonna go to infinity and then this one is gonna go to um, infinity. So I use a broken line because there's no bar underneath. In order that we can shade which part should be shaded here, we are going to use the trick. If Y is isolated by itself on the left side, locate the vertex. And from the vertex, shade the side above the vertex if it's greater than or greater than or equal to. Shade the side below the vertex if it's less than or less than or equal to. So in this case right here, since this is greater than, we are going to shade above. So I'm gonna write here, shade above the vertex. Okay, so we're shading above the vertex. So in this case right here, I'm going to shade, this is the vertex, I'm gonna shade above the vertex. So that means anything above the vertex here would be the solution to this inequality. Okay, so I can go ahead and determine is negative one negative one a solution. So negative one and negative one is right here. Since this is on the unshaded part, this is not a solution. Okay, what about one and one? So again, this is not a solution. And then we have one and one. So we go, this is one and one right here. Since this is on the shaded part, this is a solution. So we go ahead and label this as a solution. Now let's have another example right here. At this time, I would encourage you to pause this video and try this problem out on your own. And when you're done and pause it and check your answer. Okay, so we go over the uh, problem here. Again, we are going to determine the vertex. So in this problem here, our vertex is, again, we switch and keep so that would be a positive three and then that is a positive eight so because I have to switch that so I plot the vertex here that would be on positive three and I'll go all the way to eight so this is the vertex now the second step is to write the equation to be able to sketch the graph so I'm going to cover so the trick here is to cover this h and k and whatever is the left over that would be the equation. So the working equation that we can have here would be y is equal to negative two parentheses x squared, because that is the leftover. Okay, now we are going to draw the table. Okay, so we fill the table in. So one right, that means, again, we are going to plug this one into the x. So that would mean uh, one times one is one, and then times negative two is a negative two, which means we are going down. Two squared, because again, this is the x, so two squared would be four. Four times negative two is a negative eight. So that means this is going down again. And then we have a three, so three squared would be nine times negative two is negative 18. And then again, this is down. So then we are ready to sketch the graph. So from here, we go one to the right and then go down to one, two. So this is the next dot. Then go to the right two, two steps, one, two. And then we go down eight, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And then we have three to the right, one, two, three, then we go 18 down. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. So we are going to um, graph it across. 
since this is less than with no bar underneath, we will use a broken line. So I'm gonna use a broken line for this. Okay, now we are going to determine where should we shade. Please remember the trick. If Y is isolated by itself on the left side, locate the vertex and from the vertex, shade the side above the vertex if it's greater than or greater than or equal to and shade the side below the vertex if it's less than or less than or equal to. Since this is less than, I'm going to shade below the vertex. Okay, so I'm gonna shade below the vertex. So this would be the solution to this inequality. Okay, so we need to determine um, is zero, zero a solution? It's right here. So this is not a solution because it's outside of the shaded region. So this is not a solution. Now we have three, negative five. So that's gonna be three and the negative five is down here. So this is a solution since it is located on the shaded region. So this one right here is the solution. Did you get the same answers as this? Good, perfect. Now let's move on to the next example here. This time I would encourage you to pause this video and try this problem out on your own. And when you're done, and pause it and check your answer. We go over the problem here. Again, we determine the vertex. So our vertex for this would be switch and keep. So that would be negative one and negative five. So I sketch the, I mean, I plot the vertex here, negative one, and then we go to negative five. So it's gonna be down here. And then we are going to come up with a, uh, uh, an equation so that we can complete the table and do the rest of the dots. We cover the H. We cover the H and K and we change the inequality to, to equal sign. So the leftover equation would be Y is equal to, that's gonna be one half, that is X squared. So then we go ahead and um, create the table. Okay, so one right, that means I'm going to plug this one into the x. So one squared would mean one times one is one. Half of one is one half. So that is equal to 0 0.5. And so since this is positive, we are going up. So then after that, two would be plugged into the x. So two squared is four. Half of four is two. So I'm just going to write two since that's a positive. Then we go up. So then three would mean three times three because that's three squared. So that's nine. Half of nine is nine over two or that is 4.5 and we are going up. So that means from the vertex, we go one step to the right, one step to the right and I go half up. So this is halfway. So one step to the right and half up. Now, two steps to the right, one, two, that's from the vertex. So from the vertex, two step to the right, one, two. Then we go up two steps, one, two. So this is the next dot. And then three to the right from the vertex. So that's one, two, three. Then I go up 4.5, one, two, three, four, half. 4.5 is right here. So then I am going to draw that across. And then from here, I'm going to determine if I'm going to use a solid or broken line. Since there's a bar underneath, I'm going to use a solid graph. So this is going to be a solid graph. Okay, so once we created this, we remember the trick in order that we can shade which part do we shade. The trick is if Y is isolated by itself on the left side, locate the vertex and from the vertex, shade the side above the vertex if it's greater than or greater than or equal to. Shade the side below the vertex if it's less than or less than or equal to. Since this one is less than, we shade below the vertex. So I'm gonna shade below the vertex is right here. 
So I'm gonna shade all of the regions below the vertex. This means that these are the solution below the vertex. Above the vertex, this part which is not shaded are not the solution. Did you get the same answers as this? Good, perfect. If you found this video helpful, hit like and subscribe for more math videos. See ya.